Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. I am SV and today we will talk about redshift material. Today I will show you how to make a glass with redshift. So if you are ready, let's go. Ok, we are in Cinema 4D, I have version R20 and I am going to render settings, change for redshift. So inside redshift I will reduce a passes for 32 in beginning and nothing more, for a moment I no need nothing more. Uh, in beginning create some cube, so take cube, going for object and make some fillet, maybe I will make something like a 20. 20 or maybe 30. Ok, very good. Uh, so, additionally I will show you how to make some setup of the light. Start render, going to redshift, going to render view or if you have some buttons to fast rendering, this is some of my previous work, doesn't matter. Ok, I have my cube here. Uh, create redshift material and apply this material for our cube. Ok. So first of all, I will show you how to set up a very nice looking uh, lighting system. We are going like this and set up a camera. So I have camera. You see from top I can see my cube. Ok, very nice, something like that. So how I set up a light? I show you today one very nice option, maybe something like that cube. First of all we have to set up our scene. So I am going for spline and make like this, point, point, somewhere here point, doesn't matter. Then select this point, right, right click and make it like a sort. Or go down and use just a moment. I try to find chamber. Yep. And make like this. So increase. Maybe maybe 300 will be enough. Okay, our spline will be natural. After that, going for our spline and make it extrude. We will see. OK, it's coming. Extrude and increase up to maximum. I don't know. Maybe I will use a 2000. OK, so I have something. Spline and increase number maybe 10. We will see. Natural, uniform. OK, uniforms also very nice. OK, render and check. So I have some very simple, very simple set. I'll use it. What I will apply? to this uh, spline, to this extrude and we will call it like a, I don't know, platform, it will be platform. So create new redshift material, apply here and what I like to receive, first of all I don't like to see any reflection. I am going here and take out reflection, I don't need any reflection. Or if I like to see reflection I like to see very high roadness maybe 0 0.5, maybe 0 0.6, ok, 0 0.5 was good. So to reduce any noises, just go here for samples and increase maybe for 64. Now my picture will be little bit clean, very nice. Take it and put little bit down. Something like that, ok. You see I have some shadow, maybe a little bit up, something like that. Ok, I like this position, very nice. What else? So what color I will use for that? Just white, without any additional options, white color, nothing more. What light 
light I like to set up. Today I will work with uh, area light only. So to receive a very nice picture, we will set up few lights. Okay. Now I little bit put less. Then I take it somewhere here. In this window you can see it. Okay, very good. And lock. So I like to see all time perspective. For this reason I lock it. Okay. From top view, you have to set up four lights, like in photo studio. So first light, this light, I, I like to receive some specular. How to do it? Turn for 45 degrees to my object. Something like that, 45 degrees to my object. Here, 45 degrees. Take this light and pull down, pull back. So this light should be behind your camera angle. As you can see here, we have camera angle. This light should be far, not close, far, something like that. You see, I have a very nice specular in this render. So what I will do with this light, going to this light and make it very, very cold. So uh, change for temperature and yeah, Maybe 6,500 6, will be good. After that, increase intensity, maybe for two. It depends from size of your scene. You have to receive something like that. So one angle should be almost dark. Here you have to see specular. Maybe, maybe for three, we will see. Something like that. Very good. So, and make this light a little bit smaller, you see, but bigger. So, very nice, maybe a little bit more, maybe 400. So, like this, you will receive very nice specular on your object. Now, pick up a little bit light to receive some lighting also a little bit from top. Okay. Now, create second light. Again, it will be area light and settings of your area light should be also 45 degrees, but from other side. So it will be 135 if I am not wrong. Maybe I have mistake, but so doesn't matter. Apply this light exactly on the line, on this line. So this light should be white, but this light should be more powerful in twice. So if for this light we are set up, as you remember, we are set up three, for this light, our intensity will be 6. You will get like this picture. But I no need to receive any specular. For this reason, I am going for this light, going for ray, and my glossy I will disable. You see, I have illumination, but I haven't any reflection from this light. And really, I very like it. Now, pick up this light a little bit more and change little bit angle down to avoid any of these dark color. So something like that. The idea to receive a nice illumination on this angle of your object. This is main idea. So we need two more lights to receive more better result. Again, create area light. So this will be like our main light and some powerful light. For this reason, we are set, set up it on top. Change direction like this to receive illumination for down and pick up this light upper our camera. You see in this area, you have our camera angle set up in this area. After that, you see you already receive some very nice illumination from top. Now you have to turn this light a little bit forward to camera to receive something 1.4 of your object, something like that, to receive also illumination here. Then turn to left side to cover this angle. If you have any object, so I use a cube. If you have any other object, you can do it. This light should be very big size. Okay, very big, maybe in twice more. As you remember, here I have uh, 200, so I will make a 400 and 400. It will be very big light, and this light gives me very nice illumination. So 
very nice what color i use for this light i use also temperature i'm going for temperature and i make this light more cold than this light which give me illumination here so i make maybe something like a 700 7500 or maybe i or if you're not satisfied go for temperature for color and make it almost blue okay yeah i like to receive like this result and i like to see also the specular on top very nice but to receive it's more natural i have to turn this light as you can see here i have to turn like this change something like that like this you will get a very nice illumination on your background as you can see i have a gray here i have a blue and i have very nice illumination and it looks like very interesting don't forget your light should be top of your angle if you need you can pick up it a little bit higher maybe something like this and maybe a little bit on front so this is idea to receive a very nice gradient on that area on your background okay and now we have to apply one more light redshift area light and this area light will be almost similar to that light it's also will be about 45 degrees okay but this light will be very close to our object something like here inside our camera angle inside so I will pick up this light little bit on top and this light really should be also big I don't know maybe I will make a 300 for 300 something like that very nice but I no need to see any specular from this light I'm again going for ray and our glossiness I will disable what next next I am going for general and make this light like a pink color something like between pink and orange something like that okay so you see what I get but I have this line and I like to take out this line for this reason I will a little bit turn it down and maybe put little bit back but still keep in sight still keep in sight again turn down okay very nice and again little bit put back is it necessary you can you can put it down maybe like this no maybe up okay yeah to receive also some gradient here as you can see what i have i have a really very interesting illumination as for me but it's not enough pink so i am going here and i have to increase this intensity up to six maybe up to five we will see no four and this intensity also four okay very nice so this is more or less our final result final lights which i like to see today during my tutorial again i have four lights one light outside of camera angle just to receive this very nice specular other light and that area on this line with also 45 degrees just to see a big illumination without any glossiness one light on top to, to, uh, to see a very big illumination and to receive this very nice shadow downstairs and other light just to receive uh, this very interesting pink color but also without any uh, reflection so now I set, select all this light redshift light going down and here you have see a sample increase the sample for 64 okay it's depend from your computer but 64 give you more or less more or less clean result with very fast render so as you can see i have only two uh 2.8 seconds render and almost no any noise so very nice take out this oh sorry mm -hmm. yeah, i think i destroyed it unlock okay now is better you see no any noise very nice and now we are going to work with our redshift material glass 
when we are set up our sen we are start work with glass okay what settings everybody from you if you already have some small experience with redshift you already know some settings so uh first of all if you work with glass you have to take out diffuse color just put to zero no any diffuse color and after that you have a reflect uh, refraction enable it so if you like to receive a really interesting result you have to disable link to reflection disable so now you have separately refraction uh, refraction and reflection okay uh, what options we have here first of all it's roughness yeah weights yes you can make like this more dark a little bit brighter something like that what options you have roughness if you increase this you will get maybe 0 0.5 you see you have some roughness just to receive a more or less interesting result you know what i will do i will create some cylinder and put the cylinder behind our object maybe something like that and i increase size of the cylinder high and maybe wait wide, something like that okay very nice so now you can see uh, and i i will apply to this cylinder i don't know some material maybe maybe some blue material okay so now you can see how our glass working yeah and i will apply one more light area light just to show you how it's working with some uh lightning lighting i will put back okay something like here and what i will do i will make it visible now you can see this light it will be visible and you can see also some result here so it's just later we are take out this light i just like to show you what is going on okay hope you understood yeah something like that so very nice uh okay going back to our glass material and again if you like to reduce error uh, um, how is calling noise of this glass you have to increase the samples for example 64 64 it give you more or less clear result you see but it's taking time for render for this reason just to avoid any delay with my tutorial i will reduce for 16 back but for final render you can use it more Okay, if you use a one, you have almost solid material with very, very too much noise, but almost solid. If you use 0 0.1, you get clean, but with some blur. Okay, but you have one more options. You have reflection separately. If you use roughness for reflection, for example, 0 0.5, you will get on reflection some, some blur, as you can see okay what is next options we have i or error uh, if you put one you have exactly clean eyes without any i or error if you put two you have it's more you see how it's going on okay you can go to internet to google and check uh, any settings for i or error for example water have one three 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 a diamond have 2.40 something or i not remember you can check some my other tutorials with diamond what next next we have dispersion in some my tutorial with diamonds when i have 1000 subscribers i show you how to use it for example i will put one and you see my glass already have some dispersion and looks like very nice today i will not work with that one what does mean scene wallet uh just apply and check the different different is in present moment my all this cube this plot no sorry this cube was like a solid element but if i apply this option like scene wallet it's coming like a bubble like a solid like a skin bible bubble okay uh next 
Next, I have option with sub subsurface. I know that somebody like to use it, and now I show you how it's working. Uh, for example, I like to make uh, red, red cube. Okay, I am going for transmittance color and change it for red. Okay, you see what I get? I get like this result. I have a shadow which is also coming red, but it's still very clean. You can use it for any liquid, I don't know, like for wine, for tea, for blood or for something else. I have absorption scale. Start to increase and you will get some difference. For example, 0 0.1, 1, okay, almost nothing to see, 16. Try to uh, change color here also for red why I cannot see nothing maybe some roadness no uh, just a moment ah okay scatter scale I forget to change scatter scale 0 0.1 yeah so okay as you can see I have really too much noise go to samples and change samples for 64 for a moment what is mean? It's like a subscattering. So, like this, we can change the uh, depth of my glass. If I go to 1, I get like this. Try to increase 512. Okay, very nice. And change also color for red. Any change? Not. Zero. I cannot see any different. Now I see some different. Little bit reduce samples just to increase the speed for renders. Okay, very nice. If I give some color back no it's not give me any result okay you see how it's changed if i change some parameters yeah but i like to receive some a uh, reflection like a deep color so mm, really a little bit forget just a moment give me to remember Okay, something like that, yeah? So I have it, like a deep glass, but I have it. Okay, but what I can tell you, for example, now I have a rendering for 7 seconds 66. For me, it's too much. And as for me, if you like to make a deep um, subsurface effect for your glass, my my suggest to you, don't use a subs uh, subsurface. Maybe I have some mistake and I don't know how to use it more correct but as for me this options working mm, not so good redshift sorry for that but but it's really this options working not so good so I change back all options like it was before and I am going here so here I can increase also for red colors I can add some roadness and I will receive more or less same result but as you can see a render will be faster not seven seconds only six seconds but you can also use some other options I am going back and I am going for multi subsurface scattering open and amount increase up to one what now what we will do now now first of all I will change for point based and now I change for red color okay and start to decrease maybe 10 yeah you see what is going on I already have very deep you can increase radius or decrease radius you also have red shadow you also have this deep effect but you render less than five seconds so my question for what we need these options if you know you can make some comments to me show me some idea how to use it but I try it many different options and I didn't receive any nice result without too much noise and 
with fast render. So for me, if I like to receive some dips, I use or multi subscattering surface or roughness here, which also give me a very interesting effect. You see. Here I can increase some samples, for example, for 64, and very fast I can receive a very, very interesting result, almost without noise. Okay, what I like to show you now, how I can work with this. So, first of all, I am going back, close. I no need any more this cylinder, I no need any more this light. Just take out. Now I have only cube. So, going for cube and apply for this cube. Voronoi fracture, something like that. Now I will take out this material. Okay, I have like this, going for this Voronoi object. Very nice, and make maybe two centimeters between fragments, something like that. Uh, then going for source, select this source and increase, I don't know, 400 pieces. Okay, very nice. Additionally, you can use, for example, uh, detailing. Enable this detailing and enable some noise. You see, yeah, looks like very nice. Uh, maybe reduce, yeah, so, like this. I keep like this. Maybe also a little bit increase size between object, maybe for or three. Okay, when I'm satisfied with this result, I apply again this material for Voronoi fracture. And look what I get. Now will be very interesting picture, but it's of course taking some time. Like this you can make some eyes or something else, and you can see a very deep elements, still cube, but with very, very interesting reflection. Or you can use don't forget, yes, for all the small graph elements, for all the small graph elements, you can use uh, user data, for example, color user data. Just apply here, and I will try to apply here, okay? I cannot see nothing, because here I have to choose attribute name. Open, going to object, and for example, our object color, you will get like this, or I very like to use geometry ID color, something like that. Really, it doesn't matter, it gives you some result, but doesn't matter. What next? Next, I am going for color correction and user data apply input, after that going to surface, sorry, surface, something like that. Going to color correction and take out saturation scale for zero, just to make gray black coloring then going to contrast and increase up to one. So now I have only white and only black. I will use this like a mask. Going for materials, take material blender, apply this material blender for surface, then take two different materials, one and two. So this material for a moment will be green, just to show you result. It will be like a base color. This material will be red, okay, something like that, apply it like a material color one, and this is my color data, this I already know it, color data with color correction, I will use like a mask for, for layer one, blend color, and look what I get, I get like this, and it looks like very nice, very interesting result. Okay, and now I can make uh, also this material like before. So first of all, I no need any diffuse. You remember, I no need any diffuse color. I need some refraction, increase. In refraction, I will use a green, okay? Samples, 32 for a moment, maybe 64, doesn't matter. And you can see what I get. It's already a very interesting result. Uh, this I can make, I don't know, or metal or something else. For example, if I like to use a metal, um, I go here, I go for either metalness, change it for white color maybe. We will see. No. Yeah, you see? 
I can make like a metal, I can make anisotropy a little bit. Or I can make it also glass like before. So I am going for eyewear, I am going for full refract, uh, sorry, refraction, and I change it, I don't know, for red. Why not? Red color. Roadness, I no need. Reduce. I like to receive crystal. Yeah, very nice. What else? What what I can add for this very interesting element? I like to add some um, photons. So I am going to open these photons, and as you can see, my photons enabled. Uh, I show you some few options inside photons. First of all, I like to receive some effect only on down. Don't use these photons for all your lights. It's really not necessary. So I use only this on top light. I am going for photons, set, uh, select light, photons, and enable caustic photons. Increase. Look what will be now. Coming some calculation is of course taking time and now I cannot see nothing. So select and render only this area for me because I like to see photons only in this area. So intensity multiply by 10. We will see if it's give me some result or not. Wait a little bit. Okay. And number of photons. Ah, yeah. Why, why I cannot see now? Why I cannot see now? Just a moment. Because I have to apply for my Voronoi redshift tag, redshift object. Inside in the visible, I make override and enable cast causing photons. Don't forget, yeah, sorry, it's my mistake. Okay, again, select and look in this area. Wait a little bit. You see, I already received some, some photons. But it's really very noisy. For this reason, I am going for my light and increase number of photons. Just put additional zero. Wait a little bit, coming some calculation. It's taking some time. Okay, you see, now it's coming more clear. But it's 11 seconds. What you can do to increase your time? I'm going for uh, options of photons, and now I need receive photons only for refraction. I don't need reflection, so just take out reflection. I like to receive only, only refraction. Wait a little bit, come in calculation, and now you will get some photons with a little bit less quantity of noise. Come on. Okay, as you can see, I haven't too much noise from my reflection, but I have causing uh, some photons from refraction only. And this is really enough for me. So for example, just one more time, yeah? I will open this and I will make it two renders. Wait a little bit. Okay, some photons again coming to calculate. Maybe I will use uh, load okay and try to disable this check a different not load rebuild Okay. Why I cannot see it? Okay, very good. And enable. Now we will see a different. It will be some different or not. Okay, I have some small 
casting downstairs and I'm really satisfied with this picture. So again, just to repeat, uh, today I already showed you how to set up a very interesting light to receive a nice object and how to work with glass material. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to share with your friends, uh, put like and see you next time. Goodbye, my friends.